What's up YouTube fam? I am back. As I said in the last video, I'm only uploading when I got some really good stuff for you and today I got some really good stuff for you. Plus there is the fact that I don't have time to shoot YouTube videos every week right now. I meant to put on my watch. I stumbled upon this really cool new tool that makes it extremely easy and extremely fast to create Instagram ads for your content. I'm way too stoked for this video right now. Let's just get into it. Intro. <laughs> Salutations everybody, Benjamin Brandon here, back with another Instagram tutorial. Feels good to be back here on the YouTubes. Today we got a banger. I am showing you how to create Instagram ads in 2020 the fast, easy, and most cost-effective way using this really cool new tool that I have discovered called InVideo. Some of the cool stuff you're able to make with InVideo are like this ad that you see here. This is just a generic Instagram story ad that I invested a couple of bucks on to promote my YouTube channel. Let's dive into InVideo now and I'll show you how I made my ad. Plus talk about all the features that you get for like pennies on the dollar. Especially because I'm gonna share a 50% off discount code for you at the end of the video, so stick around to my computer. So here's InVideo. Now you can see that it has tons of stuff to offer, including multiple amounts of categories for certain pre-made templates, popular content ideas, and any tutorials that you may want. Now, it's segregated into three sections, and they're pretty much self-explanatory. Pre-made templates, which is what I use and what I'll be showing you today. Text to video, which is just animated text on top of your layered video. And then a blank template, if you just want to essentially edit your video generically using all the elements of that end video has to offer. So today we're doing Instagram story ads, so I'm gonna go ahead and tap on Instagram. And you can see the templates here just by hovering your mouse. It allows a preview so you can see what it looks like. Now, when you hover around these, I want you to imagine your content within these templates, not necessarily the stock footage that you see there, even though that's pretty cool. So for instance, I created a 15 second video showcasing a bunch of stuff that I do on YouTube. So I took my YouTube videos and kind of clipped them up into a 15 second reel, let's call it. But to promote your content, you want to make sure that you are the focal point. It's completely different for client content, which we'll get into later. So I'm going to scroll down here and here's one of my favorites and I've used this one. This is what you saw in the intro. So I will go ahead and take this guy as my pre- Ooh. Okay. Anyway, I'll take this guy right here for my promo. You can see the three aspect ratio options that you have. 16 by nine, of course. Nine by 16, hashtag vert, vertical video. That's obviously for Instagram stories. And you have the one by one ratio, which is your square video. The one aspect ratio you may notice is not there is the four by five, the full frame vertical video for an Instagram feed. Now. One by one is cool, but that's old school. I totally rhymed there. Not to throw shade at those who do square videos, but understand that they don't get as much engagement as a four by five. Thus, I told in video that, and they were like, oh snap, we need to work on that. So they're working on that. Did that one for you, hashtag vert community. Anyway, I'll go ahead and use the nine by 16 and let it load up. Let's see how long it takes. That literally took two seconds. Dope. And here you go, this is your pre-made template. Now there is a ton of stuff that you're able to work with within video. I'm gonna show you a basic ad that you can just pop in, create in about five minutes. So here's what we do. To the left, you can see all of your attributes from music to any type of video or images you want to look up. So for instance, for whatever reason, if I wanted to get some drone footage, I'll type in drone here and then select you know, something like that. And you can see this one is sourced from Pexels. So it's pretty dope. And video gives you a variety of stock footage that you can use for your ads without having to pay monthly subscriptions on three to four different platforms. You can also do the same for images. If I were to go to images here and maybe see that, this one right here is from Pixabay. So the sky's the limit on this. You're no longer restricted from making ads because you don't have content. And video provides as much content as you need for a dope ad. We're gonna show you how I did mine. So let's go into uploads here. This is where you can upload any particular file that you want within your ad. So I'm gonna go ahead and simply click and drag it right into here. And then it asks me whether or not I want to replace what's currently seen or add it as a layer. Now I'm gonna add it as a layer because I wanna keep this cool grainy effect that occurs within this template. And then at that point, I'm just going to resize the video here some. So a couple key attributes that I want to mention within video consist of the logo. You can add your logo here. All you gotta do is simply drag and drop in there and then voila. So let's say I wanted to put the YouTube logo. There you go. Simply drag and drop into the layer itself and it replaces the image. So I'm actually not gonna use a logo though. So I'm gonna go into the layers which gives you 
the list of everything that's within this frame here. And I can adjust anything that you see on the screen. For the logo, I'm just gonna hit delete on the keyboard to get rid of it because I don't need a logo. So from here, I'm just gonna start personalizing to my own particular needs. I'm gonna drag this stuff down here because I think that just looks better. And then start typing some copy. And then I put here, double clicking, Insta content. Because that's what my channel is all about. Now, a couple of things to note with the UI that you're seeing right now. Towards the bottom, you're seeing the basic playhead. It's essentially like an iMovie standard. Super simplistic. Every clip within your ad is called a scene. So I am currently on scene one right now, and I'm trying to make a 15 second ad. For instance, you can see that this scene is 15 seconds by itself, but I need to fit in all of this. I can simply drag, click and drag the top right corner to the particular time frame which I want it. Now, what's even cooler is I can go into the advanced timeline, which is located right here. And this is where it kind of looks more like Final Cut or Premiere, where it gives you individual layers for you to understand the timing of your content. So I'm gonna adjust some timing here and make sure that my entire ad is indeed 15 seconds. Cool, so now I know that both scenes, my entire ad is gonna be 15 seconds. So I want more text now. I'm gonna go ahead and add some more text to fit this because I just don't wanna say create better Instagram content and that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and select text, go into text styles and then choose some text. Now all the text styles are customizable so you can pretty much start by selecting a particular text font that you like and then you can adjust it from there. So that style is cool, but it doesn't fit the first text that I added. So I'm gonna essentially change it to the exact one, which was objective. And now it fits the first part of the screen. And at that point, I'm gonna adjust the timing here as you see on the bottom. And then I'm gonna just create better there. So now what I'm doing is putting the ins and out points of the text itself so I know when it comes in. So this was all done for scene one. And here is my scene one. You can see that the text appropriately populates in the timing that I want. And there you go, simple as that. Now, I already edited the second scene for the sake of time. And you can see this is what I did. All I needed to do was change the text here and put my YouTube URL and that's it. So people know where to find me. So now that I have that done, let's work on the music. I wanna go here to the music tab and you can see it has, it's just like any other copyright free music platform, you can search by categories or whatnot. I do electronic, which also fits this pre-made template because it's kind of like electronic-y 80s Atari looking. I'm all about those. And I can either add it before or after the particular scene that I'm selected on. So I'm gonna choose scene one and boom. So now Clean Break is in there, but it's a little too long as you can see on the timeline. So I can just simply click and drag it to snap right towards the end here. And honestly, one of the dopest things about NVIDIA is it has over 3 million assets of media. That's music, the stock footage that you saw, stock photos from Shutterstock and a bunch of places, animated text, even the effects, this overlay here, that's just literally this thing right here. Before I wrap this up, I wanna make sure the timing of everything is appropriate, meaning does everything appear in the right amount of time for someone to consume it and understand what they're seeing? Using this really cool feature called best scene time. So if I click on it here, it's going to identify how long certain aspects of your video should be based on what viewers actually consume on social media platforms. It's crazy. I don't know how they get that technology, but essentially, if you're like me and you're like, I don't really know how long this text should stay here, or I'm just so confused, you literally hit one button and it answers that question for you. And that literally is it. In real time, that took me seven minutes. And that was because I was talking most of the time. So since I'm totally in love with that ad, I'm gonna go ahead and export simply by hitting this big old export button on the top right corner. So as it exports, oh, that was quick. I wanted to point out that while you're working on your video, it saves almost every other second. So if you like quit Chrome for whatever reason or your computer runs out of power or something like that, it saves every frame every other second. So super cool and you won't lose anything. So let's play what we just made.
I just love that so much. It literally took me like no time at all. Imagine if I did this in Final Cut Pro, Jesus. So something else I wanna show you guys after geeking out on all that. As a social media marketing agency, you're responsible for outputting a ton of content. I would know. I am co-founder of a social media marketing agency. Just with Media to Social alone, we're responsible for creating 194 pieces of content every month amongst all clients. That is a lot of content. Thus the point, using something like NVIDIA not only saves us a massive amount of time, but you actually output pretty dope content in a matter of minutes. I'll show you a couple examples of what I've done for clients. Here's one from iVitamin. So what you're looking at is just another pre-made template all I did was add stock photos from Shutterstock, as you see, we didn't take that picture, that was from Shutterstock. I added the company logo to the top right corner, so you can see that, and then changed the text. That's literally all I did. So that's what I did for that scene. I did the same thing for this scene. That photo we did take, and that's what we have. So I just imported it in, dragged and dropped. This was the first ad I created within video, and what fascinated me was the fact that we didn't have any type of weight loss type footage. We were scheduled to shoot that like a month from now, but we needed an ad to promote this brand new wellness service that deals with weight loss. So what I did is I simply typed in weight loss within the videos and I found a whole bunch of very good footage that represented our brand well, that represented the product. And ultimately this ad did really well based off of the content that I just used within video. Now, one thing you will notice going on to this next scene is everything is color coded and color organized appropriately to go on brand. If I go here to change project colors, these colors were actually automatically generated by NVIDIA simply by me uploading the iVitamin logo, the client logo. It understood exactly what colors it needed to extract and then added them all for me. Like I didn't change those colors manually. As soon as I saw that fam, I was like, oh my God. I really wish you could understand that I'm not being dramatic, that I literally freaked out. I didn't record it though. So as it seems like I showed you a bunch of stuff with NVIDIA, I literally only scratched the surface. Not to mention using the over 4,500 pre-made templates at your disposal is pretty insane. And the coolest part is they're constantly making new pre-made templates for us. They average about over 200 new ones every month, which is like, what? When do you have the time for that? And that is exactly why I wanted to share it with you today because I stumbled upon it and I even partnered with them to give us, hashtag Vert Community, a dope discount. Not only is NVIDIA cheap as it is, as low as $10 a month, but if you use code BB50 or click on the link in the description, you'll get 50% off your purchase. You have your option of choosing the small business plan or the unlimited plan. So thank you NVIDIA so much for hooking us up with a 50% discount. And for more Instagram, IGTV, and Reels tutorials, crush that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, DM me, let's connect, and I, my beautiful Vert friends, will see you on the next one, which uh, I still don't know when that will be. Maybe next week. Notifications matter for a reason now more than ever. Just saying. Peace.